And it's something mm-hmm. I've been really, really excited about and proud of that I've done that work at, you know, at 50 years old, 52 now, it's been happening. Oh, wow, I'm so glad I asked that question already. <laughs> I'm like, because I think you're so right. I think everyone who's listening will be able to relate to what their wiring is Correct. from childhood. Where do we go? What's our emotional home, as you just called it? Correct. Where do we disappear to? And it's really interesting because I always talk about my childhood similarly being quite chaotic mm-hmm. and quite intense. Mm-hmm. But my mother's love was like this protective shield. You've told me that. Yeah. That really helped me. Mm-hmm. And now when I'm listening to you, I'm actually thinking what I want, and I think what we're both trying to develop is peace in the storm. Amen. It's equanimity yeah. in the imbalance. That's correct. Right? And in my case, not to create the storm all the time. No, so, no, no. <laughs> so, no, but in all honesty, I, a few things I discovered a few years ago, I used to brag a lot. I am unbelievable under stress. Mm-hmm. I operate amazingly under chaos, which is true because I'm so familiar with it. But what I found out about myself was to some extent, I created a lot of it. I, in other words, I wasn't comfortable in my life. Maybe people can relate to this if they really take a look at themselves. I wasn't comfortable when things weren't a little bit chaotic because in life we move towards really what we're most familiar with. We keep moving back to the familiar. That's why some people will date the completely same person in a different body. You and I have talked about with your amazing work, right? Because we move towards what we're familiar with. So I had a tendency in my life to create a lot of stress and chaos because I operated so well in it. It was a familiar state to be in even though it didn't serve me. Mm. And so a lot of that work I've done in healing and digging deep in my life, it served me not just in healing, it's made me a better businessman. It's made me a better father in often cases, a better friend because I'm not constantly creating this stress and chaos around the people that I love the most.